It's very happening. Very happening. But it doesn't have to happen here. Just till the girl population around here gets wind that I've got it. Ski, whatever it is, you've always had it. Not this puppy, Jonathan. What we got here is an advanced copy of the latest Bobby Town. At 8.15 in the morning, it's a little advanced for my nervous system. Come on, John, you gotta keep pace, buddy. I mean, this is what America's listening to. America's female youth. You don't want to lose touch. <laughs> or my hearing. Oh, I got that wired. Wasn't that long ago, I didn't need the earplugs. Aspirin. Wasn't too long ago, you can get out of that chair without making grunting noises. Go ahead, make jokes. But what are you gonna say when I deliver four front row seat tickets to Bobby Town Live at the Coconut Bowl? I will say, do I have to? Jonathan, you don't understand. You get four front row seats at Bobby Town, you can get girls to do just about anything to go with you. So we use his sex appeal to confuse some girls into thinking it's ours? Yes. I ain't proud. No, I'm just sick. Maybe I'll get three girls. something I read in the paper. Yeah, well, I tried to stick to Calvin and Hobbes. No, there's a murder at Club Go last night. There was this Anglo man uh, married to an Asian woman. And? Well, it, uh, it just reminded me of when I was a boy. I was about 10 years old, and I saw the Kyoto Slasher's first victim. My father and I were coming home late one night from a camping trip or a fishing trip or something, I don't remember. And he got a call on the radio to come to this crime scene. He told me to wait in the car, but I was too curious, you know? And what I remember most was that there was this woman. She was crying. She was screaming. The sounds of her screaming was terrifying. Well, the Kyoto slasher struck eight more times after that. Always the same. Anglo man, Asian woman. Attacked from behind. The killer always wore a long coat and a hat. And I just thought that the methods were just identical to this one. There's another country, another time, John. Yeah, I know. But uh, if there is a connection, this is just one of many. Well, it's a toss to call it the HPD. Let the cops know. Already did. You think there's a chance that the same guy's behind this? A hell of a trick. Because the Kyoto Slasher is serving a life term in prison in Japan. Why you at? で、俺のところに来るんだよ。人と立ちあなたにはありがせきにしゃかわかりあります。俺だ。Hey mate. Which one of you blokes is um in Jablons? Depends on who's asking. I am, mate. 
better watch that, buddy. I may have to clear the shrimp off your barbie. You may just get the chance to try, Mr. Jablonski. Bobby Town wants the pictures. You know what Sandy would do to him if you show her those photos? She'll wipe them out. Take everything he's caught. But just half. You bring him down, legend, Herman. How do you expect the man to create with half a soul? Well, he could just sing half as loud. I thought you were in solid with Bobby Town. No, I'm in solid with Sandy, his future ex-wife. She's filing for divorce. She asked me to build a case. Yeah, you're doing a hell of a job as usual. What's that mean? It means you're doing a hell of a job as usual. You're always getting yourself in over your head, and I'm always bailing Try you out. Hey, of... listen here, mate. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Good or what? Bada boom, bada bang. <laughs> you know, Jonathan, that one big dude, he has a body like I think I used to have. What's the deal with this Sandy person? Oh, Sandy. Well, see, she was the one that was getting me the front row seats. Well, you better bring a suit of armor with those earplugs, pal. Just a moment ago, there was a second slaying outside the Metropolitan Disco. Authorities say the slaying is uh -oh. similar to the one reported in Club Go. Tell them that the ambulance is on the way, and I need you to clear these people out of here. It's just mess, traffic, is poison. Please go to the police. Hi, Sophie. Jablonski. Last thing I heard from you was I'll call you in the morning. Uh, I can explain that, darling. Huh, if anyone can. Hey, sir. Sir, please stay behind the police lines. Can you? I'll think of something. Well, can you think of it now? Maybe she can help us fill in the blanks about all this. I need a little more time for things like that, Jonathan. I got to bargain with something good. Well, you're a master under pressure. Are you involved in this investigation? No, but I speak Japanese. That must come in very handy when you take your dates to sushi restaurant. Please, step back behind this line. And I take it you are involved in this investigation? Nikki Key, Kyoto Police, special assignment. Kyoto Police? Clerical research department? A long way from your filing cabinets, wouldn't you say, Officer Key? Miss Key, and no matter what you think of my position, I am still here on special assignment, Mr. Raven, Jonathan Raven. I'm the one who phoned HPD and told them about the connection between Kyoto and these killings here. Ah, uh, I see. Which then caused Hawaii PD to alert Kyoto to this uh, nonsense. What nonsense? There's been two killings. Apparently, you don't see the connection between Kyoto and these killings here. No one been. thinks there's a connection, Mr. Raven, except you. I was sent here to amuse the local authorities. But the killings in Kyoto... I am very familiar with the killings in Kyoto. Just three days ago, I interviewed Takuya Mokura, the man responsible for the killings in Kyoto, and I assure you, he is very secure behind the bars. Now, if you would just please... And you've ruled out imitators. There is nothing to rule out. Two murders in Honolulu do not make a pattern. Oh, I see. And since you spend all day alphabetizing, you know all there is to know about serial killers. 
I did not say this, but what I do know is that your phone call was responsible for having sent me on this wild duck chase. Goose. It's goose chase. Go home, Mr. Raven. You've already helped enough. If you continue to interfere in police business, I will have to have you arrested for obstruction of justice. Ah, oh, come on, Sophie. Oh, please, just one so I know what it's like. Oh, VK, we got work to do around here. It's not like I'm asking her for the world, Ski. I'm not going to handcuff you and read you your rights. Next drink's on me. Uh, maybe you could just throw the irons on him for a little while and poke him around with your nightstick. You know, strictly for educational purposes. You guys are sick. Yeah, but the sick drink for free around here. Ooh. Excuse me. Yo. I am looking for the Biko Kahuna. You're looking at him, ma'am. Hi, most people call me BK. I can understand this. I am looking for Jonathan Raven. What's he done now? I believe I have acted in an unprofessional manner last night. I felt I should explain, Mr. Raven. Call me Jonathan. Nikki. OK, Nikki, I'm all ears. I have been in clerical research for almost four years now. It is unlikely I will ever get past junior officer. It is very difficult for women in Japan. Yes, I know. It's very difficult. Sending me to Hawaii is a form of mockery. They know of my ambition, and this is their response. They believe it is all a um, goose chase. Right. So they send us someone that does not matter to them, and I lose time in the department, and I lose the opportunity to advance. Yes, but if you could have come across something here. Please, Mr. Raven, don't confuse my coming here for a change of opinion. You know, there is a little or no connection to the murders in Kyoto. But there's plenty of evidence, Nikki. Mixed couples, the sharp blade attacking from behind, the clothing the woman described to me last night, long coat, hat. He sounded like Makura. He said he was responsible for the killing. I am sorry, Jonathan, but there are many similarities to many murders. Right now, what you can see as a pattern can be coughed up to coincidence. Chakta. I am sorry to have bothered you. Nikki, the Kyoto slasher attacked between 11 and 1, just like the two here. Now, what are you going to think if there's another murder tonight? I will be asleep tonight, resting for my flight tomorrow. I suggest you go home and do the same. Goodbye. Mr. Raven, I believe I owe you an apology. So, what do the police think? They looked at me like I looked at you. Pot with a cracker in it. Is that, that not right? Oh, it's close enough. Shall we? I have complete access to all the police reports, but it is too much work for one person. Nice files. My specialty files. More files? Uh, my personal belongings. I was supposed to fly home today. Kyoto police is very careful with expenses. I would seem to be, as you say, on my own. Now, the problem is that these are only facts. We are missing a point of view. Uh, and breakfast. And the facts are useless unless we have a theory. We need a hypotenuse. A hypothesis? Yes, that. We must form a theory and see if the facts fit inside. With no theory, it is just a paper. 
We may already have a theory, Nikki. Now, you told me that Makura claimed to be responsible for these murders, right? Yes, but that is quite impossible. He is in prison 4,000 miles from here. Right, but to find a murderer, you must try to think like him. Could you two just take a minute here to fill me in on what's going on? I mean, who's this Makuru guy whose eyes we're supposed to be looking through? Takuya Makura. The Kyoto slasher, I told you about him. Ah. Huh. Well, about a month before the murders began, Makura's wife left him for an Anglo businessman. About two weeks after she left him, she and her boyfriend went to a Kyoto nightclub. They left around midnight, and the boyfriend was murdered outside the club. That's why the slasher only picks uh, mixed couples at the nightclubs. Anglo men, Asian women. You got it. We may assume at this point, somehow, some way, Makura is responsible for these murders. Takuya Makura has a brother who lives in Hawaii, Akiro Makura. It was in his medical files, Form 16-810. And of course, you've got his address right on the tip of your pretty little tongue. Kalai Marina, slip to 18. I am good with figures. You can say that again. I am good with figures. Yeah. Let's go talk to the brother. Jonathan. You sent Mr. Jablonski to get information from the police. Do you believe he has access to files I do not? Oh, no, no, no. He just has a very special relationship with the police. I just thought it worth a try. I do not mean to be rude, but since I am authorized and you are not, um, perhaps it is better if I conduct the interrogation. It's your show. This happened so many long years ago. Why do you come now to stir up old memories? Because three people have been killed, Mr. Makura. The victims and killings are very similar to what happened in the past. But my brother is in prison. He cannot be responsible for that. Are you his only relation? He had a son. The boy killed himself shortly after the trial. Humiliation was too much for him. You were very upset with your brother's wife, were you not? Of course. He was very much in love with her. And when you confronted her, the encounter became quite heated, physical. Regrettably, yes, it did. Mariko was an arrogant woman. She had no feelings for anyone beyond her own. Why do you ask these questions? Kamiko! Kamiko! I'm sorry. I was concerned. I didn't want them to upset you. I am not upset. Please, Kamiko. You should not be here for this. Kamiko, please, listen to me. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. You have brought bad memories into this place. My father is a good man. He's never hurt anyone. And he knows nothing about the things you speak of. No, please! If you are the police, as you say you are, then you know you cannot examine my personal belongings without a search warrant. I have never seen a Gaijing so familiar with the ways of my country. You are something of an enema, Jonathan Raven. Enigma, Nikki. That's an important one. Enigma. What did you make of Akiro? It's hard to say. He's a difficult man to read, but I sure would like to get a look at that knife. That makes two of us. Look, Nikki, we don't have much to go on here, but if the pattern continues, there's going to be another murder tonight. Well, what do you suggest? I suggest we hit the downtown circuit. Now, the first two clubs are only four blocks apart. We know a little bit about how Makira thinks, how he works. We could go downtown, look for the victim he would most likely choose. That could be dangerous. Why would you do that? You can't do it alone. Who else is going to help you? You are not like other men, Jonathan. I did not have much sleep last night. If you have a place, I could. I have a couch.
brought the cavalry, mate. Take care of the amps. Where's Jablonski? I wouldn't know. We ran his plates, Fred. We know he lives here. Wrong plates, Sparky. Wrong house. Yours make, then. Put your clothes on. You're coming with us. Please shut the door on the way out. Kyoto and Makura picked the most crowded clubs. Well, makes sense. It's better hunting and better cover for them. Seems to be the same here. I guess there's a few other clubs in the district. I'm just gonna have to do that. I think that's our best bet. In the meantime, Ski is going to be staking out brother Akiro. Just in case there's any midnight excursion. What is this, Nikki? You're very good, Mr. Raven. If I was very good, I wouldn't be standing there with a gun pointed at me. I've heard that serial killers often have a need to be caught. Is that true, Mr. Raven? Is that why you phoned the Hawaii PD? What are you talking about? The facts that fit the theory. I'm listening. You began all this with your phone call. After only one murder, you were the one to see the connection. Mm-hmm. Would you like a drink? No. You know everything there is to know about Takuya Makura. His victims, his methods, even the way he thinks. Mm. So that proves that I'm the killer? No. But this does. If analysis reveals minute traces of blood that match the victims. But you're making a huge mistake. It fits. Easy enough to check out the dagger. I have an easier way. And what's that? We wait. If you are with me and there is no murder... And what if you're wrong and there is a murder? Then what are you going to do? I'll tell you what. We'll make a deal. We'll go downtown just as planned. You keep the gun on me. You don't let me out of your sight. If I'm the murderer, nothing lost. If I'm not, maybe we can do something to stop the next one. What do you say? gun would sort of restrict your movement. Let's move on. It's the girl. Oh, 
think that your index finger would be getting tired by now. I have plenty of time to rest in the morning. I would think that you might judge my character by how I treat you. Like the way you treated those men at your house tonight? Sorry, buddy, I lost him. I tailed the guy for 20 minutes before I realized it was the daughter. Time I got back, the comfort was bare. Good evening, ma'am. Would you mind stepping back from Mr. Raven, please? Excuse me? Please, step back. What's she doing with the gun? She's pointing it at us. Uh-huh. There's been another murder. coroner's office kind of gives me the creeps you know i'm beginning to believe that takuya makura is responsible for these killings the coat fibers found on the victims are an exact match to the ones found in japan whoa and there's more this is in strictest confidence it relates to matters only known by the police i won't breathe the word in kyoto eight murders one blade was used to cut the victim's throat it had a nick on the cutting edge about two inches from the hilt the same blade is being used in Honolulu. Well, it can't be the same knife. It was confiscated in Kyoto. Yes, but after the trial, Takuya's belongings were returned to his family. Well, who had access to Makura's stuff? I'm not sure. Regrettably, I was only 15 years old at the time and hadn't started reading files yet. I keep coming back to his brother, Akira, and the dagger he wouldn't let us see. I sure wish I could talk to his daughter without him around. Oh, that should not be difficult. She works at a boutique called the Tan Line in Waikiki Beach, stand 26, Monaco Way. It yeah, was, it was in, in her files. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know the number of that redhead I met last month outside Big Case, would you? I just thought I'd ask. If I leave now, I should be able to talk to Kimiko before lunch. But you have no official capacity. Yes, I do. I'm your assistant. I'm going to apologize to her for your rude behavior. Ah, good cop, bad cop. We have Kojak as well. I'll meet you back at my place in a couple hours, all right? Got it. Jonathan, perhaps I do belong in clerical research and not in the field. I apologize for misjudging you from the beginning. Stop apologizing. You're doing great. You made a lot of good decisions, like trusting me. Hang on, baby. This car's so old, it ain't got seat belts. My father has nothing to hide from him, Mr. Raven. Or the woman. Well, Kamiko, that's why I'm here. You see, I agree with you. It's just hard to convince my partner, that's all. The woman is very set in her ways. Well, Mr. Raven, if you agree with me, then you should leave us alone. My father is a good man. I'm sure he is. But look, if you just bring me the knife, the one that was on his boat, I could convince my partner, and then she will know what we know. Mr. Raven, you're asking me to steal a kilo sounds belong? No, not steal. No, I just want to look at it and prove that it's not the murder weapon, that's all, and then you and your father will be left alone. Can you go? It's really the only way. Or I can get a search warrant. My father is a very lonely man, Mr. Raven. He doesn't have many friends. But... Yeah, you help me to tell the truth, all right? Just bring me the knife. He's never, never hurt anyone. Okay. Here's my number. Now you call me, and if I'm not there, you leave a message. I know you do the right thing.
Jonathan, it's almost seven. Do you think she will call? I don't know. I was hoping she'd call before now. Perhaps she did not fall for your good cop. Perhaps. Well, there's always tonight. There's two more clubs in the district. McCure never struck at the same place twice. We got a 50-50 shot, right? You going dancing tonight, you're taking me. Oh, yeah? Who leads? I'm serious, Jonathan. Now, come on. I mean, you and Nikki here, a white guy with an Asian woman, that's a perfect target for that maniac. You cannot keep me out of this, Mr. Jablonski. Nikki, Nikki, I'm not trying to keep you out of anything. I'm trying to keep my friend here in one piece. Now, you know that lunatic always comes up from behind. Now, how are you going to keep your back to him and protect yourself at the same time? I'm not. You are. You I'm worried about. I'm just playing the innocent, helpless girlfriend. I hope you're a good actress. It's about one. I think we should leave now. All right. Table 10 giving me trouble. Go clear it. Ten. Jablonski. This guy. You're Jablonski? Bobby Town. Bobby Town. Well, you sure better look at him in person. And with your clothes on. Sorry, I gotta go. I don't think so. We should leave now. Ski will be right behind us. Come on. This is the guy. I don't see what all the crying was about, fellas. He seems very cooperative to me. So you never got a look at him? It was dark, Jonathan. The hats, everything happened so fast. You ought to go easy on that for a week or so. The stitches dissolve, so there's no need to have them removed. All right, thanks. So what do the police think? Well, they know everything we know now. I think they're going to take us more seriously. Oh. I wish I knew what the hell happened to Ski. Take his shoes off. I guess now we're going to find out just what's important here. Protecting my bare backside or saving yours. You know, if you, if you just stop calling me Herman and get me to a telephone, I think I could find those pictures for you real fast. Damn it. No word from Kimiko. And it worries you. Yeah, it worries me. It concerns me a great deal. What time shall we meet back together? I didn't realize we were splitting up. You'd be going to find Chemical. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. 
I am going to the police lab. They took the blade that broke from the dagger for fingerprints and specimen analysis. I also requested some material from Kyoto. It should be here by now. We got three partials, and that's about it. Things been handled with gloves is my best guess. I sent the partials off to CIC. We got other latents, but uh, they don't look too promising. Your fax from Kyoto is coming in, Miss Key. Mm. Thank you. Please let me know what comes through. Hello, if you like, leave a message. Jonathan, it's Nikki. I've just received some information from Kyoto. Akiro Makura has only been in Hawaii for eight years. Most of his papers and records are still in Japan. Jonathan, Akiro Makura never had a daughter. Thank you. Excuse me, Miss Key. Phone call on line 25. Jonathan? Uh, don't, Nikki. It's me, Ski. Mr. Jablonski, are you with Jonathan? Not right at the moment, darling. But I've been trying to find him for over an hour. Is everything okay? I do not know. Jonathan went to find Kamiko, but I've just received some very disturbing news. This is becoming a soap opera, Herman. And I loathe opera. I want the pictures. Uh, I, I think I got a good idea where I can find them. Uh, trust me. Miko? Kiro. You don't move until I get back, okay? All right. This isn't some more of your particular brand of humor, is it, Ski? Now, you see, uh, my partner's on that boat, mate. If you want the pictures, you want him. Miko? I found father's box, you know. I was only 14 years old. Father had hidden it. But I found it. I 
Schat. Alles ist gut. Is your father. My father is a good man. And I'm everything to him. Your father is guilty, Kamiko. No! Him. How could he be guilty if I am the killer? You can't make your father innocent by recreating his crimes. My father is innocent. Okay, come on. My father is innocent. I try to be as concise as possible. War and Peace is two pages shorter, I think. I merely explain the details. When her father was in prison, Kamiko remained firmly convinced of his innocence. Years later, when the box containing the evidence of his guilt was revealed, her mind could not deal with it. So, in order to protect her belief in her father, she convinced herself the guilt was hers. But that's only one paragraph. So, I elaborate to someone. You could say that again, but please don't. <laughs> Miss Key, have your limo outside. The chauffeur? Compliments of the Kyoto police. It is their way of saving face. How nice. You may make officer yet. I already have. Detective, second class. Well, congratulations. There's nothing second class about you, kiddo. Say hello to Kyoto for me. Come on, BK, you gotta go. I can't do it. I got a polo match to go to. You gonna turn down front row seats to watch a bunch of guys fall off horses? Jonathan, help me out here. I thought the Bobby Town concert was canceled due to incarceration. I still got the tickets, and there's still a concert. Well, who's playing? Charo. You know, Coochie Coochie Coo. Now, how many tickets do you have to that polo match? We're out of here. But I love Charo. Coochie Coochie Coo.